Are you looking for the next big thing in mobile MMORPGs? Well, you have come to the right place. In this video, I will be talking about the top 10 upcoming MMORPGs for mobile in 2023, all of which are still in development. Those games are the cream of the crop, offering stunning graphics, innovative gameplay, and endless possibilities. From the post-apocalyptic to the anime inspired, there is something for everyone. So what are you waiting for? Just subscribe to this channel with notifications on. This is Jasper and let's begin. Starting off with number 10, Wars of Prussia. Wars of Prussia is a fantasy upcoming MMORPG on mobile and PC, set in the history of humans who fought to escape the operation of the elves in the kingdom of Prussia. Players will fight to conquer their territory in the vast world of Prussia. As far we know, players can choose from a variety of classes including warriors, mages and archers and battle it out in epic PvP battles. The game also features a deep crafting system allowing players to create their own weapons and armor. Now if you are looking for a crazy role playing game then let me tell you about the game that I am so much addicted to right now which is One State. It is a life simulator game that allows players to experience real life situations and it is now available on Android and iOS so you can play with friends no matter what device they have. And the game has fairly realistic 3D graphics and mechanics that are very similar to those of GTA and in the game you can do whatever you want such as you can be a police officer or do crimes or you can buy or modify your racing cars or participate in street racing, shooting and endless action. So one state is completely free and doesn't have annoying ads like other games and the best part is you can easily find new friends using voice chat. Download one state from the link in description now and have it to come play with me and don't forget to claim your gift with my promo code. Next over at number 9, Arthdal Chronicles. This one is based on the popular Korean TV series of the same name. Players can explore the world of Arthdal, a land of warring tribes and ancient civilizations. Recently, Studio Dragon announced they will be expanding the world view of this artwork to the gaming world to reach players from all over the world. This artwork will be transformed into a multiplayer MMORPG, creating a unique world view with premium IP to create a new universe for the gaming field. Down to number 8, Tower Island. Tower Island is a sandbox MMORPG set in a world of magic and adventure. Players can explore the vast world, build their own homes and craft their own weapons and armor. As players explore the vast world of Tower Island, players will face many different regions and enemies. And there is always a new and challenging journey every season. The game's plot revolves around the three primordial gods, Destiny, Oblivion and Omen. Players will follow the character characters Moira, Leith and Acheron to explore and learn about their history. And before moving on, just drop a like on this video right now. And on number 7, Ashfall. Ashfall is a post-apocalyptic MMORPG set in a world revenged by a volcanic eruption. Players must survive in this harsh environment by scavenging for resources, building shelter and fighting off dangerous creatures. The game features a unique permadeath system, meaning that players will lose their character if they die. On number 6, Dark and Light Mobile. It's a mobile port of the popular PC MMORPG Dark and Light. The game features a vast open world, a variety of creatures to tame, and a deep crafting system. Players can choose to play as a human, elf, or dwarf and battle it out in PvP battles. And folks, what's your favorite MMORPG? Leave a comment. Now, on number 5, Project Ragnarok. Project Ragnarok is a fantasy MMORPG developed by Nate Ease. The game features a vast open world, a variety of classes to choose from, and a deep crafting system. Players can also explore dungeons, raid bosses, and PvP arenas. It's an open world game inspired by Norse mythology, and it is said to be a cross-platform release. This could mean it geared towards PCs and consoles in addition to mobile. Nate Ease's goal here is to offer a blend of Chinese-style MMO gameplay and high-end AAA gameplay. 
Moving on to number 4, Earth Revival. This one is a sci-fi MMORPG set in a post-apocalyptic world. Players must rebuild civilization and fight off hostile creatures. The game features a unique crafting system allowing players to create their own weapons and armor. The game takes you to that new planet which is completely alien to Earth. Players will have to encounter many strange creatures and many mysteries and interesting things here. And now it's time to smash the subscribe button. Just to smash it. Anyways, now on the third number of the list, Chrono Odyssey. Chrono Odyssey is a fantasy MMORPG developed by NPixel. The game features a unique time travel mechanic allowing players to travel to different eras of the game world. Players can also choose from a variety of classes including warriors, mages and archers. And on number 2, Honor of Kings World. Honor of Kings World is a mobile MMORPG based on the popular MOBA game Honor of Kings. The game features a vast open world, a variety of classes to choose from, and a deep PvP system. Players can also team up with friends to battle it out in 5 vs 5 matches. It is shaping up to be a major mobile MMORPG and it will be interesting to see how it compares to other popular titles in the genre such as Linus 2 Revolution and Black Desert Mobile. Finally, at the top of the list, Throne and Library. This one is an upcoming MMORPG developed by NC Soft. The game features a vast open world, a variety of classes to choose from, and a deep PvP system. Players can also explore dungeons, raid bosses, and PvP arenas. I am personally looking forward to the game's open world. I love the idea of exploring a vast and beautiful world, and I am hoping that Throne and Library will deliver on that promise. And I am also interested in the game's PvP system, I am big fan of competitive games, and I think the PvP in Throne and Library could be a lot of fun. The game will feature crossplay support. So, those are my best picks for the top 10 upcoming MMORPGs on mobile. I know there are a lot of great games coming out there, so I am sure I missed some, but those are the ones that I am so much excited about. So, if you have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you are looking for more mobile gaming content, be sure to subscribe to my channel with all notifications on. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.